The first thing you should know about it is it's much larger than it looks in the package. It's collapsible, so as soon as you take it out of the package, it's going to pop open. Because it will pop open, you don't want to have it next to anything that will be knocked over like a cup of coffee or a candle or anything like that. As you can see, there's no assembly required. You just pull one corner out and it eventually takes shape and is a tall cube. One side of the enclosure is clear plastic and the other five sides are made from a fine mesh which will allow a lot better airflow than an aquarium would. Once I got it to completely open, I was a little surprised by how big it actually was. This enclosure came with a quick start guide on how to raise butterflies, but I think it's a good idea to do a little research before you ever get a butterfly enclosure. Each butterfly has preferred host plants that they lay their eggs on. I plan to raise two different types of butterflies. First, I'm going to raise monarchs, and for those, I'm going to use butterfly weed in this container. The second type of butterfly that I plan to raise is the black swallowtail butterfly, and here's a look at some of their eggs that they laid on some of our parsley out on our garden. Black swallowtail butterflies like to lay eggs on parsley, carrots, dill, and fennel. A couple of months later, the butterfly weed had grown quite a bit. I already spotted some caterpillars on the milkweed, so it was time to set up the enclosure. I put the milkweed container with a saucer inside the butterfly enclosure, and underneath those is a piece of cardboard. Monarch caterpillars eat a lot, and for that reason, they poop a lot. The cardboard makes cleanup a lot easier. I also grow milkweed for monarchs to lay eggs on, and that's where I got my caterpillars. Next, I transfer the caterpillars onto the butterfly weed by moving them leaf and all. As I mentioned, monarch caterpillars eat a lot, and for that reason, it's a good idea to make sure you have enough food for them. After the caterpillar stage, they turn into a chrysalis, and inside the chrysalis is where all the magic happens. After 10 days to 2 weeks inside the chrysalis, it's time for the butterfly to emerge. This is the part that makes all of the effort up to this point worthwhile. You should let their wings dry for several hours before you release them. Black swallowtail butterflies can be raised in this enclosure, but they require a different food than monarchs. Instead of butterfly weed, you can feed them parsley, carrot tops, dill, or fennel. These enclosures also work well for releasing large numbers of butterflies. I sometimes raise large numbers of these indoors in aquariums, and this enclosure is great for transporting them from the indoors to the outdoors. For that reason, I bought an extra one of these enclosures just to use for that purpose. Raising a few butterflies can be an educational experience for the entire family. If you've ever raised a butterfly from a caterpillar, let us know about it down in the comments. And don't forget to share and like this video. We'll see you next time.